Terrence, Bud Crawford. What does his training routine consist of? How does he jump rope? Those are the topics of today's video. Terrence Crawford has long been regarded as one of the best boxers of this era. He holds championships in three weight classes and he hopes to become the first three-time undisputed champion. He's planning on climbing up in weight, going as high as 168 pounds and taking on the likes of Canelo Alvarez. So what an exciting fighter in the ring and what an exciting future he has mapped out for himself in his mind, his ambitions. He has fought 40 times. He has 40 victories, 31 of which came by way of knockout. His most recent victory came over Errol Spence. And what a masterpiece of a performance that was. And the jump rope footage that we're seeing on the screen at the moment is from a media workout in the lead up to Terrence Crawford's fight against Errol Spence. So before I continue, I just want to mention that my Amazon number one selling best release free from plantar fasciitis forever is now available on Amazon at almost half the price that it was before because I wanted to make it cost less. So I refinished the photographs. So Terrence Crawford, before I get to his training routine, let's talk a little bit about how he skips rope. Because I often get questions from viewers asking, is it necessary to do jump rope tricks, advanced jump rope tricks, like triple unders, boxer double under crossovers, a lot of Mike Tyson or Roberto Duran style double under squat jumps? And the answer is no. If you look at the way Terrence Crawford jumps rope and other phenomenal boxers, such as Canelo Alvarez, who I mentioned earlier, or Manny Pacquiao, or one of my favorites, the former Puerto Rican boxer, Miguel Cotto. A lot of top boxers, when they jump rope, they stick to very low impact, very basic boxer skips. And they just perform them for long durations of time. So they don't, they're not necessarily doing anything extremely fancy. They're just putting in consistent time on the jump rope. So if you don't necessarily enjoy learning tricks, or if you find tricks maybe hard on your body, it's not necessary. When you jump rope, if you enjoy doing basic boxer skips or more basic jump rope moves, that's perfectly all right. The footage that we're seeing here on the screen and throughout this video, you'll notice that Terrence Crawford, he doesn't do anything overly fancy. But he, as I said, he just puts in consistent cardio, consistent time on the jump rope. Very recently, he was on a podcast with Joe Rogan. And Joe Rogan asked him what his training routine consists of. So in that interview with Joe Rogan, he said that he focuses a lot on endurance work, such as running, but he doesn't run every day. He's a big believer in swimming. He has swam throughout his whole career. He said it helps with breathing, endurance, and it's easy on his joints. And of course, we know he, he jumps rope. He didn't mention that in the interview with Joe Rogan, but we see footage of him. He regularly jumps rope. He also says he does a lot of strength and conditioning work using weights, but he uses light weights, he said. He uses weights just about 20 pounds. So he's focusing on endurance when he's using the weights. He also does plyometrics. That would mean things like push-ups. So 
when Joe Rogan asked him about his training routine, he said he does it all. But in this particular clip, he really emphasized swimming. And I can attest to the benefits of swimming myself. I actually just completed a triathlon at the weekend, and the first part of that involved swimming. Swimming is a fantastic cardiovascular activity. It involves your entire body. And like Terrence Crawford said in the interview with Joe Rogan, it's fantastic for working on your breathing. And there's something, I'll use the word spiritual, I find about being in a body of water, be it a swimming pool, a lake, or an ocean. Our bodies are made up of mostly water. And I always find that anytime I'm swimming, that I just feel good, not only during the activity, but when I get out of it. And perhaps it has something to do with the fact that our body, because it's made up of water, a lot of water has an affinity to being in water. So given the health benefits and the performance benefits of swimming, perhaps if you don't already know how to swim, maybe it's something you'd like to consider learning how to do. And if you do know how to swim, maybe it's something that you'd like to do more often. Because as Terrence Crawford said, it is low impact, it's easy on his joints, and it's fantastic for breathing. Okay, well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Just before I finish, I want to give a, a shout out to another book of mine that's available on Amazon that's getting fantastic reviews. It's an easy read. It's an inspiring, uplifting story called Jump Rope Johnny and the Inspiring Mr. P. So links down below to that and my other book on plantar fasciitis. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.